Yeah, so I'm gonna make my way over to where uh, Nila and Arpeggio was because I saw where they were and I was like, oh, that's cool. They're right here. Nila? Nila's here too. Yeah, it's what I it's what I said. I saw this shit earlier. Okay. Hazy photo of Arpeggio right there. That seemed to clear up. <laughs> Uh, you could say that. I'd say she's a source of all our problems. I can't believe it. She must have been working with Arpeggio all Plot time. twist. <laughs> I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Nila and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild the oh, shit. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley. I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull Clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. Ah, yeah, simple, simple enough. Stealing keys, I can do. Ch changing the rotation of a giant ass machine, uh, a little, little trickier, but <laughs> it's easier said than done, I should say. All right, time to go on the key clutting. So this is why the guards are specifically needed for this mission, because uh, you need their keys, and you can't kill them beforehand but you can't steal their keys before you get the notification to do so so I think I get this guy before he, yeah okay like I'm pretty sure I get the key before he walks into the light don't walk towards the light um, sorry <laughs> just had to just had to so yeah stealing keys and we've been doing this since the beginning <laughs> beginning of time we've been stealing keys I really do like the new like the stealing mechanic in this game Pretty cool. Oh, I did not grab that key. That sucks. And he's coming back around. Ugh. Double suckage. Two times the suckage, if you will. Uh, I think I just, like, glide past him and then. Or no, was I worried that he's gonna turn around? Yeah, I was worried. I didn't know how far he, back he walks. I was like, uh. Ah. That should be a nice little spot. There you go. And grab the key. Still not sure if I can kill these guards yet. Uh, I mean, they've served their purpose, but um, I don't want to fail at this point and have to redo everything, so uh, there is that. Uh, I need to go, yeah, it's like I need to go get the machine unlocked before I can do anything. So this is a pretty cool uh, mechanic. Um, we have to, well, as they're rotating, we have to jump on them and hit a switch. That switch at the back, and I, and they're going the opposite direction. So the end I'm on is the end of this side's jump, but uh, would be the start of the other side's jump. Uh, height of yeah, English is stupid sometimes. Um, words are hard. So, uh, they already mentioned, but you need to be, you need to jump on top of it as it's, uh, climbing up the, the, the pole. Um, I'm, like, spacing out on 20 words. Um, and it's kind of tricky because, as you'll notice here, it's a little more, uh, a little harder to tell whether or not it's, um, like, stable for you to stand on if it's, uh, flat enough. Um, that and it looks pretty far away, but it's relatively close. So there's the first one, and I think you can jump back down and reach the uh, same wire to do it again. Yeah. Uh, but now that I know how to get the first one done, the next three should be relatively easy. Uh, almost fucked that one up as I'm saying that. Good. <laughs> um, and I can do the exact same thing on the other side. I just have to wait because I missed cycle for this. Uh, 
this particular one. Uh, but yeah, so, pretty cool. I guess this is trying to teach you that you can walk on uh, surfaces that are rotating. <laughs> like the giant spinning fans. Um, although, that shit still scares me. <laughs> like, I, I'm still nervous on walking on those things. I said, like, uh, you, can I trust you? I don't think I can trust you. You look kind of suspicious here, friendo. But that is the job. Here's my doo 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 doo. Yeah. And with that, everyone, like, gets knocked back. But, shit's gonna go down. I like, I like all the shit that goes down. It's cool. What's all this thing? The magnets have been reversed. But, by Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts Fuck. of the place. <laughs> We helped them out, shit. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, what? Like, lol? Haha, <laughs> surprise. Sly Cooper. Of course this would be yeah, your fuck off, Mila. doing. Oh, Mr. Cooper, no doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuit and be born anew. All this because you Get can't fly. <laughs> You're pathetic. Immortality. Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. What? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it yeah. all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang pathetic. through the first Whoa. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Cooper. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. That's right. Hatred. Putting his gears and wires together was child's play compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, Hypnotist Extraordinaire devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise... Oh, oh shit. <laughs> the only problem I face... His master is plan. ...is a suitable source of light waves. Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who've eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Perhaps, but necessary to give clockwork the spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Neela, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! <laughs> oh, fuck. Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang. Interpol and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? She does have a point there. That is a fair point. This is preposterous. You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or. Oh shit, they just murdered someone in the Sly Cooper game. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not the first time. Clockla. What a what a name. <laughs> My name's Clockla. How are you all this <laughs> Um But yeah, uh lots of shit just went down. Like whole bunch of shit. As we all know, things are looking yeah. grand. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced Clockla. She's out and free to terrorize the world. 
This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Flakla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just a warm up for what we'll be going through tonight. So a few problems would, would just happen. One, a giant rant by the, the villain that reveals his entire plan. As cliche as it is, uh, um, it was, it was, I mean, it, it explained a lot of things that was going on, like, it explained, like, all the characters and why he picked all of them to be together, um, but that was a lot of exposition, and the one, the one thing I have, like, my major concern is, uh, Arpeggio is supposed to be this really super smart guy, right? He's supposed to be the master, the master plan design, who, who like, designed the entire plan, but yet he didn't think about Neela, who is, like she said, she pretty much fucked over everyone in this entire game so far. And he was just like, nah, she won't do that to me. I'm a super smart guy, I totally know that she's not gonna, you know, betray me in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. That's like my, my only really concern. It's like, the super master plan that he, like, he, he tells us, it's just like, ah, uh, well, Neela is the one who's gonna betray you, so probably should have put that in your, uh, your your ideas of what you should look out for. I don't know. Personal opinion. I just thought it was really weird that Nilo was like, ah, okay. Fuck off. It's mine. I'm now Clock Law, which is a really weird name. Um, still trying to find out how to get this bottle, am I? Yeah. I think I have uh, 25. So I do find the one on top of this, uh, this blimp here. And then after Bentley's mission, I think I, uh, Google everything. It's either after Bentley's or Murray's mission. I think it's Bentley's, though. Or after this mission, I'm not sure. It's not going to take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. And I was like, oh, there's a bottle here. That's, that's sweet. Um, so yeah, now we have to go steal more keys. And if you notice, uh, he said that he, uh, in order to take out this engine room, we would need to work together. And I, that's one of the few things I really like about this mission, because since there is no final, uh, um, you know, finale, no final heist, instead they've uh, paired up each uh, of the characters to work together and have like a, a unison... Uh, mission together, which is really cool. Like, you'll start off playing a slide, and then you'll swap over to Bentley, and I think in Bentley's mission, you swap over to to Murray, and in Murray's mission, you swap back to Sly. I thought that was really cool that they, like, interchanged. Um, sort of like they do in a heist, but uh, in just a single mission. And that made... At first, I was like, oh, wow, that's really cool, but then I was like, oh, wait, maybe... Uh, that means I need to grab all the bottles as soon as possible because I think after this particular mission I was like, oh, that was a lot of percent for just one particular mission. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they just turned around as I grabbed the key. Yep. Like, oh, let's, time to get a dodge. Um, and I think I'm in the clear. As of, as of now. Nope, not at all. Okay, never mind. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, swapping between characters, that was pretty cool. Losing train of track of no, I can't even think of the word. <laughs> a train of thought. Losing your train of thought sucks. Um, and I seem to do it more often than not. Uh, oh yeah, so after completing this mission, I realized that we got a bunch of percent, like a percentage done of the game. As a go, oh, well, we might be running into, uh, the uh, the fault very soon because I think we like jump up from like 88 to like 91 or something um, in a single mission I was like oh wow that is that is fast <laughs> I was really worried that we'd you know have to 
ha no, not have enough time to uh, get all the bottles and whatnot. Where the fuck did this guy go? Oh yeah, that's right. He, he circles around the out the outer edge. That's right. It's like, wait, there was a guy over here, right? Where the boss did he go? Oh, he's got a shiny butt. One coin. Ah, oh, another one coin. This guy's a cheap steak. Better have some eh, medium necklace. I guess he's more well off than cheapskate. <laughs> if he had like a small necklace or like, I don't know, a uh, small pocket watch, I would have been pissed. Just saying there, friendo. Get a higher wage. <laughs> you could do that, right? 